Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Hey! How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, 
Okay. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones had to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. 
I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Spark plug. Pour some inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble of rain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking.
Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! 